Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at free trial and also free tier. So uh, this is gonna show up on the exam, but it's for your own benefit. So when you sign up for Google Cloud, you are going to get 90 days free for $300 uh, uh, of credits on the platform that you can use towards uh, different types of products and services. Uh, and so there are some limitations to this trial that we need to go through. You cannot use these on GPUs to your VM instances. GPUs is generally used for machine learning or deep learning. Uh, you can't request a quota increase. So you get 300 bucks or credits and that's all you get. You can't uh, create VM instances that are based on Windows Server images. Um, you, you need to verify a credit card or other payment method to sign up. Uh, and at the end of your trial to continue using Google Cloud, you must upgrade to a paid uh, cloud billing account. Upgrading early will end your trial because you really are in a sandbox to keep you safe. Uh, that's one of the benefits of Google Cloud, where other providers like AWS, you have a high chance of going over uh, your free trial into real spend, okay? So for free tier, um, all Google Cloud customers can use select Google Cloud products like Compute Engine, Cloud Storage, BigQuery, free of charge within uh, specified monthly usage limits. When you stay within the free tier, the resources are not charged against your free tier credits to your cloud billing account payments method after your trial ends, okay? So um, for App Engine, we have 28 hours per day for F instances, nine hours a day for B instances, one gigabyte of egress, so uh, data leaving the network, like downloads. Um, the Google Cloud free tier is available only for the standard environment, so it's not for flexible. For artifact registry, you have 0 0.5 gigabytes of storage per month. For auto ML natural language, you get 5,000 units of uh, prediction per month. For auto ML tables, you get six nodes, hours of training and prediction. Uh, for auto ML translation, you get 500,000 translated characters per month. For auto ML video intelligence, you get 40 node hours uh, for training, five hours uh, for prediction. For auto ML vision, you get 40 node hours of training and online prediction, one hour uh, for batch classification prediction, 15 node hours for edge training. For BigQuery, you get one terabytes of querying per month. And to me, that is like super awesome. And one of the reasons why um, I like to use BigQuery as my primary um, uh, data warehouse. You get 10 gigabytes of storage per month. For Cloud Build, you get 120 build minutes per day. For Cloud Functions, you get 2 million invocations per month, includes both background and HTTP invocations. Uh, 400,000 gigabyte seconds, 200,000, or yeah, 200,000 uh, gigahertz seconds, uh, gigahertz, is that GHZ? I think that's what it is. Seconds of compute time, five gigabytes network uh, egress uh, per month. For cloud logging and cloud monitoring, you get free monthly logging allotment, free monthly metrics allotment. Uh, for natural language, you get 5,000 units per month. For cloud run, you get 2 million uh, requests per month. 360,000 uh, gigabytes per second of memory, 180,000 uh, 180, vCPU seconds of compute time, one gigabyte net, uh, network egress from uh, North America per month, and the free tier is available only for Cloud Run, okay? Uh, free access to Cloud Shell, uh, including five gigabytes uh, persistent disk storage. So don't fear spinning up Cloud Shell. Uh, it's a very useful tool. Uh, Cloud source repository, so up to five users, 50 gigabytes of storage, 50 gigabytes of egress. For Cloud Vision, 1,000 units per month. For Firestore, one gigabytes uh, storage per month, um, or just in general, sorry, not per month. 50,000 reads to uh, 20,000 writes, 20,000 deletes per day. For Google Kubernetes Engine, no cluster management fee. Uh, and that's a big one because um, other providers will charge you a management fee for uh, the cluster or control plane. Uh, for autopilot or zonal clusters per uh, billing account, for clusters created in autopilot mode, pods are billed per second for CPUs, memory and disk uh, resources requests. For cl clusters created in standard mode, each user node is charged at a standard compute engine pricing. For cloud storage, five gigabytes per month of regional storage, so that's pretty good, but only for the US regions. 5,000 class A operations per month, 50,000 class B operations per month, one gigabyte network egress from North America to all region destinations, excluding China and Australia per month. Free tier is only available in US East one, US West one, US Central regions. Uses calculations are combined across those regions. Last page, I believe, of our free tier here. 
So for Google Maps, uh, you're getting 10 gigabytes messages per month for speech to text, 60 minutes. A video intelligence API, 1,000 units per month. For work workflows, 5,000 internal steps per month, 2,000 external HTTP calls per month. For Compute Engine, one non preemptible F1 micro VM instance per month within US West, US Central one, US East one, 30 gigabytes a uh, month HHD or uh, hard disk drive, 5 gigabytes a month uh, snap uh, snapshot storage in the following regions, uh, one gigabyte network egress. Uh, your free tier uh, F1 micro instance is limited by time, not by instance. So each month eligible use for F1 micro instances is free until you have used the number of hours equal to that. So just remember F1 micro when you're looking for a free instance. Usage calculations are combined across supported regions. Uh, Google Cloud uh, free tier does not include external IP addresses. Um, uh, Compute Engine offers discounts for sustainable use of virtual machines. Your free, free tier does, uh, uh, use doesn't factor into sustained use. GPUs and TPUs are not included in the free tier offers. You are always charged for GPUs and TPUs that you add VM instances. And that makes sense because they're physical pieces of hardware. They're really expensive, okay? 